This is Rocky Flats today. More than 6,000 acres of wide open empty space just northwest of Denver. But from 1952 to 1989, Rocky Flats was a massive Department of Energy factory, the top secret core of America's nuclear weapons program, cranking out thousands of plutonium triggers for the country's Cold War arsenal. Jack Weaver worked at Rocky Flats for 41 years. On June 6, 1989, he was a plutonium production manager. I got a phone call from my boss and said, the FBI's on plant site and anything they want, give it to them. My suspicions were that, hey, I'm going to get interviewed, I may go to court, I may go to jail, I don't know. The raid, the only time one government agency has ever raided another, uncovered environmental crimes involving mishandling of radioactive waste and toxic chemicals. Rockwell, the company running Rocky Flats at the time, paid an $18 million fine. A 10-year, $7 billion cleanup would follow. From high above Rocky Flats, it's clear everything has been demolished and carted away, but the danger lingers unseen. Some structures, too contaminated to remove, were buried. They'll be radioactive for tens of thousands of years. But barely a mile away, new houses are springing up and families moving in. It breaks my heart. Kristen Iverson heart. grew up in Arvada, right next door to Rocky Flats, and worked there in the 1980s. She's written a book about the risks to workers, the surrounding area, and above all, the secrecy. One of the uh, biggest problems at Rocky Flats was the fires. There was never any warning, never any evacuation. The two most dangerous fires were in 1957 and 1969. And uh, during both of those fires, we came close to a Chernobyl-like Event. Carl Sprang works for the state of Colorado coordinating environmental restoration at Rocky Flats. The official position is, is that Rocky Flats is, is no longer a toxic site? It is no longer. It was cleaned up to um, uh, national and state standards. After thousands of lawsuits, the U.S. has officially begun compensating sick workers. It's paid out some $400 million to about 2,400 people. Just five months after that FBI raid, the Berlin Wall would fall and two years later, the Soviet Union would follow. What Rocky Flats made was no longer needed. But the bombs it helped build remain in the U.S. arsenal to this day. And this place's story is far from over. Paul Beban, Al Jazeera, Rocky Flats.